Uh, there are blessed palms in the vestibule. I know you think they've just been hanging around since Palm Sunday. Well, that's not the case. They were not only blessed on Palm Sunday, but there's also a special blessing for them on the feast of St. Peter Martyr. That is Peter of Verona, whose feast day was this past week. And those palms were blessed again. And part of that blessing reads as follows. In whatsoever place a particle of them is preserved, the princes of darkness, along with their followers, may depart and fly in trembling from such homes and places. There let no damage result from lightning and storm, no inclement weather consume or destroy the fruits of the earth, nothing disturb or molest them who serve thee. So, it's a good thing to take one of these palms, probably just one per family would be sufficient if you cut it up, make four little crosses out of it, and put each little cross in a little plastic baggie, and then bury them in the four corners of your yard. This is one of the great graces of the church, We're called sacramentals, these things through which grace and protection flow to us. St. Peter Martyr was known in his life and after his death to cast out demons and to work many miracles, and this blessing has particular reference to the casting out of demons and also his influence on the weather. He was on the court of the Inquisition, and while trying a heretical bishop at one point, the bishop challenged him and said that if Peter really were on the side of the good God, he would not let all those people who had come to see him stand out in the, the oppressive heat all day. Peter answered that if the bishop would renounce his heresy, he would be happy to ask God for a cloud to shield the people from the sun. Well, the heretic refused, but Peter caved in anyway and prayed for clouds. And, of course, we know what happened. The sun in a previously cloudless sky was hidden by clouds for the rest of the day. After his death, St. Peter Martyr was also known to appear to sailors and lead them through a difficult sea in the dark, even providing light for them to see by. So, of course, we do not doubt that he will also help us who sincerely seek his protection today. So keep some of this blessed palm on your property all year round for protection from evil spirits and from dangerous weather.